everybody this is maitri kulkarni and we have uh, different participants and a guest speaker today with us who is manik kashigar so before i introduce uh, to everybody about manik uh, let me introduce about myself today first <clears throat> i'm from southern part of india hyderabad and i presently work for a fintech called Sciency as a product support specialist. I have worked with different organizations and worked with different domestic and international clients with operations and support roles with a combination of cloud computing and computer networking. Uh, apart from my full-time job, I also volunteer with Women Who Code from past two years and I've had good experiences networking with others and uh, empowering other women and also trying to learn from other women leaders so today we are here to know more about one of the uh, women leaders uh, in tech uh, who is uh, manik kashikar and she is a senior technology architect at accenture with 16 years of experience and her technical skills include uh, block uh, back-end, uh, web development, machine learning, uh, cyber security, and cloud. So that's all about um, myself and Manik. I would leave to Manik to speak a few words about it. Thanks, Madri. Thank you for having me today. Uh, so just a, a very brief from my side. So I'm Manik, uh, and I, I reside in India. And I, I've been associated with Accenture from last 10 years. Totally, I carry 16 years of experience. When I started my career in, in uh, you know, IT industry, I started as a, um, uh, you know, a hardcore Java developer. And slowly, I, I with the need of the industry and the clients, I, I started grasping a couple of new technologies and I moved to the open source stack, slowly become a full stack. And uh, with my experience that I that I gained over a couple of years, I got the chance to be a part of uh, a core architecture team. Uh, that was a that was really uh, a change maker in my career because there there I worked with uh, couple of great architects and I, I got a chance to learn a lot from them and uh, together we design um, numerous solutions in the banking industry which are which are confined to the digital transformation journeys for the banks uh, it was it was way around 2010 and 12 uh, wherein uh, I got the chance being a part of a multi-channel solution factory and there we have we have uh, developed an omni-channel platform which is being currently used uh, by multiple Italian uh, based uh, banking clients uh, of Accenture today and uh, with, with that experience I just move on to do something new and uh, from there i got another opportunity another uh, you know again with uh, with uh, for a banking client and i stepped into a very different domain called uh, security and identity and access management and um, so there i worked uh, majorly into an access access and authorization platform uh, stability of that platform and uh, during these these of my 10 years i i started uh, I started uh, getting myself interested more into the cloud technology, and that's that's where I started again, learning cloud technology. I started from AWS, then slowly also, uh, you know, uh, moved to Google Cloud. Um, I have attempted a number of such certifications, and from now last couple of years, I've been working uh, majorly into the cloud uh, technology app modernization, migration, and solutioning for uh, various clients. Thank you. Thank you, Manik. So uh, we have an idea now about your career journey. So because you're working with Accenture, can you tell us more about your role at Accenture, about your day-to-day -day activities? Sure, sure. So, uh, so I mean, by by chance or uh, you know by luck, I'll say I I usually get to uh, you know. Uh, play variety of such roles so uh, initially the, as of course i have started as a developer and later on moved being a technical lead and then into the architect 
space, I did the uh, Accenture very prestigious certification called Senior Technology Architect as a part of MTA program. And uh, later on, I I, I played uh, for, for a couple of years, I played a role of an architect and then moved also into the delivery and the technical project management. And uh, so that's that's where my leadership journey has started. At uh, at a point, I I also got a chance to you know deal with multiple stakeholders, various projects. So at at a point, I I you know I got a chance to handle and manage uh, three projects in parallel, allocating my my time and. Uh, uh, also, just to keep myself engaged and aligned with the technology, I, I also played my individual role, um, be aligned to the technology in addition to my uh, delivery, uh, you know, technical delivery manager role. Currently, I'm working as a delivery unit uh, head for uh, cloud first uh, software engineering group uh, for one of a one of a very uh, you know esteemed client uh, european banking client and wherein again i'm i'm playing a dual role uh, one as a cloud architect and another as a delivery unit head wherein i'm heading uh, three such projects that's good to know so I think it's been more than five years that you're working with Accenture. So can you tell us more about Accenture India initiatives that help women to boost their careers? I think sure, that's sure. one thing which our audiences also would like to know more about. Yes, yes surely. And and uh, I mean, just to share, this is my 10th year with Accenture. So this is a celebration year. And uh, I can talk about number of such initiatives that Accenture keep on, uh, you know, uh, launching every year and uh, doing some enhancements every year uh, on the already launched program. So I got a chance to be a part of number of such uh, such initiatives uh, to name a few. Uh, I think I'll start with the High Tech Movement Program, which is a which is a great program for 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 the women who, who really wanted to be a part of uh, technology track, who wanted to pursue their career in our, as a technologist or in architecture space. So it's a great, great program that Accenture has launched a couple of years ago. I have been a part of it and then I got certified and uh, later on I also got a chance to be a part of uh, the core team, uh, which also covers, uh, you know, this high tech high tech movement program and later on uh, uh, you know for one or two such years i i also led this initiative for uh, uh, for europe europe area and uh, again now uh, this year i see one such women leadership uh, grow women in leader leadership program has been launched which also includes uh, one of the program called agrini which is also another fantastic program i got the chance uh, to be a part of it of course to enhance my leadership skills and uh, strengthen my uh, you know uh, the knowledge in terms of the delivery and dealing with the stakeholders and the client uh, management um, uh, there is one another such program i just wanted to uh, you know call out here now, it's a great program i really liked it uh, the reason being it is it is very hardcore related to the technology track and that program is a cloud advisory program wherein they have handpicked very couple of few technologists and architects uh, from the various domains and the industry uh, that Accenture works for. And uh, it's a rigorous program of six weeks wherein uh, we as an individual or as a group had uh, gone through a number of such uh, internal as well as external trainings. And we have been given number of scenario based use cases uh, of which we have to design our solution and present it in front of uh, the, the juries. And finally, uh, you know, they have shared uh, a feedback with us uh, that that was a great experience to you know work collaboratively with with uh, your own individual team members as well as to represent yourself uh, as an individual. Uh, it's a great program I, I felt because that some somewhere prepared myself for, you know uh, in terms of the pre scale pre sales and the client orals when I go uh, to any client uh, which are majorly focusing on cloud migration and modernization journeys. That's good to know. So it's good that Accenture has uh, good 
programs for women and we can grow that way i'm sure we can have more women leaders now moving forward uh, in the it sector so can you uh, tell us if it is important to have a certification in cloud platform because nowadays even if we have certification it's difficult to have like a to get through a job so can you tell us more about that because you have worked with both amazon and cloud platforms sorry yeah. amazon and google cloud platforms yeah yeah sure so i think i will share here my own experience uh, as i said i started my career more into the java and uh, you know as a as a developer and later on i i moved myself into the cloud uh, track so um, i think uh, you know uh, to you you need to to start something new and to learn something new you need a start point and uh, going through the trainings with respect to the certification is a great thing because that that builds your foundation yeah and when you are starting something new and when you are you are learning something new it is really important to uh, you know build that trust by your own as well as for your clients and certification is a great such tool wherein you know you can showcase it as your credentials that see i have i've gained so many certifications i have knowledge in in all those areas so certification will definitely play a good role which helps you to build your credentials and give you your very first opportunity now once you get that opportunity it's up to you and your knowledge how do you you know fulfill the needs and how do you justify the role that has been uh, given to you uh, by by your client so the real time experience applying the knowledge and hands on experience is something that plays a very very important role post uh, you know you uh, you achieve the certification because that is something uh, that 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 remains with you your experience remains with you and the more you enhance the more you do the hands on uh, you 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 get the chance to sharpen your skills and understand uh, more uh, you know in terms of the scenario based learnings so uh, just to summarize this i will say certifications are uh, a good stepping stone and it's a good credentials to have but later on it is more about how you apply that knowledge that you have gained from certifications and the more of your experience hands on and the real time experience that is something which will help you to do justice to your job that's it i agree so outside of work how do you keep yourself uh, up to date with technology can you tell mm -hmm. us more about it like are you part of different communities or uh, societies online yes yes i have been a very much uh, active member as part of multiple such societies and the online communities so uh, one of another topic apart from cloud which i really like is is you know the lightweight uh, container containers and the architecture so i'm uh, i'm very active member of uh, the community uh, apart from being an active in various communities and uh, you know keep on learning from uh, the people who share their experiences i am also an active member as a part of uh, gnc wherein it's it's a great super uh, celebration it's an uh, anita boat organization which uh, which uh, you know every year they launch a number of competitions or uh, uh, to where you can present your point of views where you can showcase your uh, you know assets and uh, so i have been uh, over these last couple of years i have been a very active member in in submitting my point of views on various topics uh, like uh, cloud security cloud architectures best practices uh, uh, best practices on app modernizations and in addition to this accenture has got uh, multiple tie ups with uh, these uh, you know the cloud service providers like uh, beat amazon or beat cloud so i i also got from last 2 3 years i also got a chance to attend those reinvent uh, uh, you know workshops that they conduct uh, because of covid 
they are conducting it uh, you know virtually and they all are available online so i'm very lucky to be a part of all those such reinvent programs uh, those were the great uh, you know initiatives that gets um, that amazon conducts every year same with google uh, i attended numerous such uh, you know uh, uh, such workshops uh, related to the advanced architectures and app modernizations there and uh, uh, while it comes to the knowledge and learning so i i was an active member uh, as a part of the reinvent and all uh, i do i do attend such events in addition i also uh, keep myself uh, you know engaged uh, in and to test my knowledge i i do keep myself engaged in participating through number of inter, uh, internal to accenture as well as external events in terms of point of view presentations paper presentations uh, in the area of uh, again in the cloud security lightweight containerizations architectures etc that's good to know like that way you can get more things to learn and grow with others also that's a good thing absolutely absolutely so as a woman leader any tips do you have that you want to share with us and audiences today yes yes in again this is coming from my experience uh, itself uh, because i know and uh, you will matri you will also agree to it that as we as we progress in our life journey as well as in our career we do get get through various phases of our life and all those turns and leaps and bounds uh, our priorities keeps on changing so uh, uh, just a small message to to our audience today is uh, you know be passionate about whatever you are doing uh, irrespective of where i mean be it at home or uh, for your organization be passionate about your work start learning how to do multitasking because it will really help you to you know uh do the things uh, uh you know smartly and it will also help you to save your time be very organized uh, be very focused when it comes to your career goal and all when it comes to your career goal and you know uh, the end, end milestones what do you really wanted to achieve uh do not uh, shy away from asking for the help whenever you need that's that's an important one because you can't be a superwoman everywhere at some point you have to let go the things and but at some point in some of the areas you need to be you need to understand that very 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 smartly and very intelligently that what are the areas i can't really uh, i can't really compromise what are the areas i can just let go so that's that's prioritization and being organized is very important thank you manik we are glad to have you here today and thank you for sharing all your insights and stories with us and i'm hoping that everybody finds it helpful uh, with our with your story today and congratulations for completing 10 years with accenture and i hope that you have good uh, experiences more working with accenture 